eventful season for you, new yeah. contract. How are you feeling heading into this year? I'm feeling great. Uh, off season went fast, but I uh, got to enjoy myself, uh, celebrate a little bit, and get right back to work. But uh, it's been, been great. Uh, feeling great, and I'm excited for the new year. What was free agency like for you? Was there ever like a question that you wouldn't come back or anything? Uh, it's always a question. You, you never know. We uh, Our team has like a crazy luxury tax and all types of different things going on. So uh, you never know what's going to happen. But uh, my priority was to be able to sign back here and uh, who's able to get, get the job done and uh, get to that number that we all feel comfortable with. And uh, I'm glad to be back. You, we, we saw you out there kind of working with James, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, how much more can you kind of impart on him when – you can, you know, he can go into your chest and do a move, and then you can talk about it. Whereas last year, obviously, you know, you guys couldn't do that much. Uh, it's definitely a lot easier to be able to, you know, to like teach somebody or even just learn from uh, uh, from being on the court with somebody. Uh, you know, we both played in the same position, we played in the same offense, so we both can see different things on the floor. He can help me, I can help him. Uh, I kind of know uh, all the ins and outs of the offense. I know what Steph and Draymond and Clay are thinking out there, Jordan. I know where they want the big to be at, so I can just kind of share that knowledge for that. It took me years to learn and just kind of just tell them uh, uh, where, where, kind of where to be at. And But once you get to experience it live and firsthand, it makes things a lot easier. You start to understand and uh, see the pictures a lot easier. So uh, he's been taking a lot of uh, jumps uh, since he's been on the court, since we've been working out this summer and to now at the training camp. So uh, it's, it's good to see him uh, out there playing. He's, he's healthy. He's out there you know, super athletic and uh, just as strong as ever. When it comes to your relationship with James, what is the line between mentorship and you know competing? Uh, it's really we really just it's a team. So like uh, we always want to win, and you know we 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 compete every day in practice. You know I'm gonna make him better. He's gonna make me better. But we all just compete to one goal is to win. You know playing the center spot on this team, it's not like we both competing for shots or anything. We're gonna be doing the same thing pretty much. So uh, it's not a, a uh, a lot of you know shine at that spot on this thing. So uh, we both got to go out there and do the dirty work, and we both take pride in that, and we're going to go out there and, and do it to the highest level. So uh, we just out there trying to compete and, and show that we wanna, can be one of the best tandems uh, at the position in the league. You mentioned Wiseman has made some leaps just since he started this summer um, coming back. What, what specifically have you seen him improve on? Uh, just his uh, feel for the game is getting better. You know, he's been out a, a long time. So uh, just getting that feel, getting that timing back, uh, that confidence in himself uh, is back. And uh, so just seeing him just feel more comfortable being out there on the court. He's talking more. He's being more vocal. So uh, that's, more, that's probably the most exciting thing to see. I know how hard it is to kind of learn to be vocal and be able to talk at that position. So uh, to see him take that steps and to feel that confidence is, uh, is, is great to see. Sounds like you guys had like a lively scrimmage today. Uh, it was pretty lively, a little bit. Uh, our team got, got a lot of wins. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, it's, so it was kind of the starters just dominating. Uh, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. You know, the it was it wasn't long, so it it wasn't like a lot of back and forth. It was a lot of quick games, and we got a lot of uh, good shooters. So it was two possessions that we <laughs> it was winning pretty easy today. Who? Uh, you know, if you put on your analyst, uh, I guess, assessment, who was looking good for you guys? Uh, I mean, everybody was looking pretty good. When you win, and everything yeah. looks really good. But I say Steph and Wiggs made a lot of shots today, so I give it to them too. How about from the young guys? Obviously, didn't doesn't sound like they got many wins, but just who kind of impressed you today? Uh, so we didn't get, we didn't really play long, but I mean, I've been here for the last couple of weeks, and I've been uh, been playing with the guys and. You know, Moses out there, he looks pretty confident in himself. He knows where to be at. Uh, you know, J.K. always has a, a moment that shocks everybody about how, how athletic he is. Uh, uh, you know, get to see Pat up close for the first time. Uh, he has a great feel for the game. And i actually been really pissed with uh, Ryan. Uh, he just got cleared not too long ago. And to see him play, I got to play pickup with him in the, the last couple of weeks. And to see his, his feel for the game, is his way he can score the ball, uh, it was a surprise. I didn't really not get to see him play. Last season. 104 games, yeah. including the playoffs. You know exactly what that total is. Right. Uh, how much of a, a rest did your body need, and, and how are you feeling physically heading into this season? Uh, I didn't need much uh, much rest. Uh, you know, during the playoffs, you get a lot of you know we play every like two or three days. So that was after after the regular season. That felt like a, a long time. So my body was feeling good towards the end of the year. And I got a couple weeks off, and uh, you know my body's feeling better than ever. Uh, you know, the more you know games I play and. Uh, 
the more I get my legs under me, I feel like I get stronger and stronger. So I kind of took that approach this year, just keep, keep it going. Uh, you know, this summer, keep playing and stay healthy, stay in shape. You Don't know, try to let yourself go at all uh, and stay in tip-top shape and keep, uh, you, keep your body used to that stress. So I feel good. Uh, no, I feel like I said better than ever. What are your expectations for yourself this season? Are you, like, it's 82, another goal of yours, or are you willing to take rest? Uh, I am definitely want to play 82 again. It's not like uh, I did it, so I still want to do it again. But it's not, uh, no, it's, I'm never going to compromise myself just to do it. You know, if I feel like uh, I'm not feeling good or they look like, or the training staff feel that I'm not moving as well as I, ha I have been or they think something is nagging me that I'm not, you know, willing to play, then I would just, I would take the break. But if I'm healthy, I'm going to play. I'm not going to sit down just because uh, then it's a back-to-back -back just because uh, I'm only 26. I feel good. I, I miss a lot of years, so I got uh, some games to make up. Kavon, did you have an opportunity to sign for more money elsewhere, but you still decided to come here? Uh, it was some teams that were close, uh, but it wasn't enough to really want me to, to make me leave. I uh, got a couple, you know, something, was, something to talk about, but it wasn't enough to uh, leave the place that I been, got drafted to. You know, I wanted to come back here, uh, have another ch chance at a championship. So uh, this is the final place. I, this is where I really wanted to be, so it made it happen. Um, what, do you, what do you think uh, the return of Andre means for the young guys, especially someone like Jonathan Kaminga? Uh, it means a lot for the young guys, the old guys, everybody. He's uh, one of our leaders. He's the one that everybody can go to. You know, uh, Kaminga can go to him. I can. Uh, Jordan Poole, you know, Steph, Draymond. He's somebody that everybody kind of leans on when things get tough. And uh, he's an excellent guy. Uh, he knows uh, has a high IQ uh, on the court and off the court. He knows all the stresses that come with you know being a young guy in the NBA. He's uh, he's one of the guys that we can come to about you know just not just basketball but life. So having him in, in the locker room is going to be huge for us. You know he's one of the guys that can you know get you know when guys are going off course, he know how to you know be be direct. And uh, and get and get guys back in line. So uh, we definitely need that leadership. Uh, and he's everybody's happy he's back.